Merry Christmas. If you think that's well, our that's behavior. that's pretty silly. You guys are out here harassing me now. No, ma'am. We're checking the kids. So, okay, you check the kids. They're right here. I don't know how to check the kids. Uh, Mr. Right Eden is the respondent, and then in the case 23-00435, Mr. Eden's the petitioner. Ms. Pardee's, the Ms. both parties are respondents. Um, in that case, this isn't a new situation, well, somewhat new to me, I think. Um, I, both Mr. Eden and um, the Pardee's have been listed as petitioners and respondents in uh, a few cases in the past involving each other. Uh, no permanent order has been entered. As far as I can tell, feel free to either party can stand to correct me. Um, the last time you were in court was in, okay, let me, let me double check this. Well, there was a case that was filed in November 17th but it looks like that was dismissed. I think the last time folks were actually in court speaking to, to the judicial officer was in August. And so um, a lot has been filed. Some of the things predate uh, um, the August filing, which I think has already been litigated. I'm not too interested in any of that. Um, although I did review uh, what was filed, um, some videos which frankly does a lot of videos don't reflect well on any of the parties who are in front of me here today. But Ms. Pardis, and I'll start with you first. You're the petitioner on 23-000-378. Um, can you raise your right hand, please? Uh, do you swear and affirm the information and testimony you provide will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I do, Your Honor. You can put your hand down. <clears throat> and um, how is it that you need an order against Mr. Eaton? And like I say, what I'm going to be interested in is things that have happened since the last time you were in court. I think a judge made a ruling pretty much the things up, up to there. Go ahead. Everything I've submitted to you has been recent. It's not any old stuff. This is a continuing, ongoing issue. Mr. Eden doesn't like stop. You, I would like you to testify as to the specific things that, that are in the record. So just tell me what's been going on out there. When I try to leave our home, Mr. Eden has a sign up above with these bright lights flooded right at the exit of our driveway on a fence that he put up illegally in the beginning of the year. It just said, and it's just to annoy. There's chairs there. You can't see when you leave. When we're trying to leave, he throws up his middle finger, calls me, go out of the driveway like I've written to you, 15 year old kid in the morning, going to school, and he's out there screaming, call me a finger. Last week, when I was trying to take the kid to school, I, I don't even know if I've had a chance to write this to submit it. As we're passing his house, it's 5 43 in the morning. I'm taking the kid to school because he goes early for gym. And this guy's up in his house as we're passing with a spotlight, spotlighting us through the window. Do you know how bright a spotlight is? Besides the, the fact that light. Mr. Eaton knows that I have a light disorder and a sensory disorder to that, as well as noise, and he keeps on. It's childish, Your Honor. He's mad about his land disturbance issue, and he keeps trying to create some issue where I'm, I haven't spoken to him, talked to him. Nothing since the before summer of 2022. All of these incidents are simply Mr. Eden either running out of his driveway, running down the road, anything at my kids. The kids leave the front door. He's out there to keep away from him. We go to the gate. There he is giving us the finger. The video I submitted to you, given the finger. The man cannot leave us alone. He drives past the house to give him the finger. Matthew was home the other night by himself. He went to empty the fireplace ashes in the garbage can that was up by the road because the garbage hasn't come yet. And I get home and Matthew says, mom, I'm just emptying the ashes. And he drives past giving me the finger yelling, fuck 12, 12. Mr. Eden does not live in a family home. He lives in his mother's house. He's not a resident of this community. 
He doesn't care about this community. And he's angry because we have to file a land use action because he filled in an entire hill and it's now flooding my property. So not only am I subjected to his torment every day when I try to go to the grocery store, get my kid to school, I can't even have a caregiver now. The state will not send out a caregiver because he keeps harassing my care people. Every What gives him the right to yell at my guests, my company, my care people, my medical professionals, and I have to go around and protect all these? I can't. He will not stop. He's at that driveway over the hill all the time. So now I cannot, I, I'm supposed to have surgery. I need care people and they cannot, they will not come here. I'm in the middle of that. They, the one guy's so afraid he won't even make a statement because he doesn't want Mr. Eden to know where he lives or who he is. And now I have to deal with adult protective services because I'm a vulnerable adult. They have to come out here because the caregivers won't come out because Mr. Eden won't leave them alone. This is new. This isn't old stuff. This isn't his BS saying that I don't behave or I've done this and that. This is all just recent. Even yesterday, he's still up there. Finger, music, noise. Who runs? One, we live in a residential neighborhood. This guy runs his dump truck for up to an hour at a time, filling it full of noise and diesel smoke. I mean, it's it's awful. Fine, I'll take care of that. But in the end term, you're by not giving me an order, you're just, it's subjecting our kids to constant emotional abuse. Um, did you have any additional witnesses you wish to have testify? I do not. If you, if I, no offense, your honor, but I haven't exactly felt heard by you. So, no, okay, you have, okay I'm gonna stop you for a second. You, you haven't been in front you. of me, ma'am. Stop, please. Yeah, you haven't been in front of me. I haven't heard any of these cases. So you're not offending me because I haven't decided any of these cases. So don't worry about that. But I just want to clarify that I, have I wasn't the judge who sat in any of these you. cases. But I didn't drag anybody down here because I didn't think that you would let them be heard. OK. Um, so let me hear from Mr. Eden. Mr. Eden, could you raise your right hand, please? Do you swear and affirm that? Testimony you provide will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Yes, Your Honor. Okay, and you're asking for an order, an order against um, both parties. Uh, uh, um, I'll hear from you, and again on new information, things that uh, um, uh, that have happened since the last time you were in court. Again, with regard to both parties, and then. Um, you can respond to what Ms. Pardee had said. And then Ms. Pardee, I'll come back to you and you can, um, I'll allow you to respond to what I hear from Mr. Eden. And Mr. Pardee, he's listed as a respondent, so I can hear from him also in the case brought by Mr. Eden. So Mr. Eden, go ahead. You've been sworn, so yes, yes, I'll hear I, from I, you. Uh, obviously you can see um, what I'm dealing with. Um, I think we should call all those people in. Absolutely. They need to be, if they're their witnesses, they need to be here present for this because none of this has happened. 99% of the stuff that she has told the courts today has happened. I have not done any of these things. She's well, hang on just a second. I, I did see some video, which what appeared to me is you, um, for lack of a better term, giving her the finger. I mean, is that, did you not see is that, that my cell phone or is that the finger? Look to me like the finger. Going up my driveway the day I got a film. Um, you was there. It looked like when I saw it on the 29th. When you were, and again, I don't, I can't remember the date right now, but um, it was the 29th. It looked like Lana. you were walking. Yes, it was the 29th. I was at Lana's, her neighbors, and I saw some thing with some cell phone too. Yes, but, I was. The neighbor locked herself out of her car. I walked over to help her. I was over there helping her. The tow truck driver showed up. Lana and her have a, an ongoing thing. Also, she just recently this year chased or last year, 2023, chased Aubrey with a rake. And there's a police report on that. Chase uh, who? I don't know who No, she is. chased my neighbor, Lana. So I was at Lana's house, this next door to Shannon Party's house. They have an ongoing argument going also. Shannon ended up chasing her daughter, Lana's daughter, Aubrey, with a rake. There's a police report on this. The other neighbor, Patton, uh, Cindy Guppy, she's also chased their child down the road and wanted to... Um, press charges for burglary charges that her their autistic child was in their driveway. I mean, this 
she has police reports with all the neighbors around her. This it's just not me, Your Honor. I mean, this is ongoing. The lady in her backyard, she calls the fat, fleshy arm lady. Ongoing with, I mean, it's just, I mean, all my neighbors, I've been neighbors with There's these people 30, 40 years, 40 years. They're afraid of her because what you're seeing here in this court today is what they do not want to get involved in. We've been in this process for over a year now. I, I can see that. And, 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 and they just keep, she can't control herself. Every time we go home after a court date, Judge Wool or Commissioner Wool, she bashed him on Facebook. And just, uh, if you read the, the, did you read it? It was in my exhibits. I mean, just tore him apart. Um, anytime that she's not happy with anyone, she just goes after him. She went after Evergreen Shores um, Homeowner Association, sued them for years. She makes all this stuff up. None of this stuff is really true. Maybe a little bit. Like I said, 99% of it isn't. Then after that, after they, her and Bill lost that case, she went after the people that were on the board. Into Each individual once she had lawsuits against them. And her John and Jessica Knudsen were on the board for Evergreen Insurance. They were her neighbors at one time also. They have foster children. She attacked them also. Turn them into CPS. I mean, this woman cannot stop with the neighbors. Jessica Knutson and John actually moved because of Shannon. I mean, this is an ongoing thing with everyone. Now she's sitting there trying to sit there. She's trying to bring me into Superior Court over some land issue. She said, I filled my yard in. And that was in 2007. I had a grading permit because I did some work on my yard. I brought some tops on for landscaping. They didn't move mm -hmm. into their home till late 2014-15. They're going back to public records, anything she can do to sabotage me and my business, saying that I'm trying to run them over my dump truck. I got dates here that she put on her declaration stating on Friday, 1056, November 17th, you know, um, I was, her kid was outside in the yard and I was saying, hey, 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 these dates, I wasn't even in town. I was out of state or not out of state. I was on the other side in Eastern Washington. I mean, and I could prove it. I have, I have videos, pictures. I mean, she, this woman cannot stop. And Bill knows it. And Bill is forced to protect her. And, and the Evergreen Shores, no one, the, everyone's watching this. This is huge. She got kicked off the Evergreen Shores board out there. She was on the board. If she wanted to address any issues at that time, she could have addressed them when she was on the board. And now she's attacking me because she has, she has it out for me and she will not leave me alone. She, this is what she does. This is free, free training for Miss Party. She enjoys this. She builds her cases more and more and more, the more she can do this and drag it out. And anyone in any of her cases, even when I talked to the lawyer for Evergreen Shores Home Message, she goes there, she's going to hold that. She's going to continue this as long as she can, Mr. Eden. This is what she did to us. It was a painful draw. And she, I mean, Oh my God, it never stops. And I mean, I wish I could bring all my neighbors in, but they're so afraid of her of going through the same thing I'm going through right now. But yeah, they're, 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 they're pulling things out that court cases that have been closed. This has been thrown out twice. I have nothing to do with her children. This is between Miss Pardee not getting her way and poor Bill over there has to stick up for Bill don't want to be any part of this. The guy lives in his car. You can speak for yourself. I'll let, I'll let Mr. Pardee speak for himself. Okay, well, Bill lives in his car outside the gate half the time, sleeping in his car. She doesn't allow him to sleep in the house. They're married, supposedly, but he's not allowed to live there. He hasn't lived there for years. She has a problem with Bill. She has a problem with her children. I just witnessed a possible uh, overdose attempt by her oldest son, Jonathan. Both her kids are wonderful kids. They've been mentally abused for years. And you could probably ask her adult children. They've been through the same thing with her. So, you know, I had to contact the, the Thurston County police because I witnessed something that I was concerned that Jonathan might have possibly overdosed. She was begging her husband to take Jonathan to the hospital because he took a bunch of Benadryl and some other stuff and she wasn't sure. Bill was like saying, get in the house. She kept saying, no, take him to the hospital, take him to the hospital. Bill walked the kid up the driveway and, um, the kid says, I don't want to go to the hospital. Bill goes, we're not going to the hospital. But I mean, it, this, this thing goes on. The little kid comes up and pleads to the dad and says, you need to come down here and get your son. He's effing, tweaking, and he's high. And he goes, tell him to come up. And he goes, he, he can't move. You need to come get him. Okay, so ma'am, so it just goes on and on. I'm stop you for a second. And so, um, first of all, ma'am, you know, I, I prefer that you not interrupt when other people are talking. And secondly, but on the other hand, she's kind of right. This I, doesn't really have anything to do with, I'm asking why you need an order against her. Well, to protect myself it's... from all these cases, all the stuff she's presenting here. If she, okay, the one time she has me on camera walking by her house is because I had to go, I have to go to court again, right? 
And if you, if you guys were going to um, do a temporary anti-harassment order, I wouldn't be able to get within the distance of the ditch to film why she's taking me to court, cause, saying I caused damages for foundation, blah, blah, blah. So when I got permission from Lana, when I went over there to help her because she was locked out of her car, I walked by Miss Pardee's front yard. I took a picture of the culvert pipe in Lana's yard. I went over to Mike's. I took a picture of Mike's culvert pipe. Shannon, I walked along Shannon's front yard the, on the road, and everyone walks back and forth their dogs. There's no anti-harassment, no, no reason that I can't walk by her house. I filmed the ditch that is completely filled in where she allows parking for her two of her businesses. People come and go all the time, turn around people's driveways. That makes all of our dogs bark. She's got, it's ongoing. She's got people dropping dogs off and people going. I mean, it just never stops. So that's why I walked by her place and filmed the ditch because I'm going to Superior Court and the courts need the evidence that I need to submit to them in the next hearing they're dragging me through. So, I mean, one court case after the next court case. And why is all this? Why now? They've lived there since 2000, late 2014, 15, and she's viciously attacking me. I can't go out my house. She's got, she's got reports. Oh, he started his truck at 715. Oh, he ran it for 10 minutes. Oh, he started his truck. Now he's moving his motorhome. Now he's doing this. He, she walks, me and the neighbor were staying in the road. She came by. I was like, oh, great. Here comes such and such. She, she comes driving by. The neighbor's my witness. I get the dog. I walk across the street. She says I lunged at her car and stopped her from going in fear. But Darla Burkett is a total witness, saw the whole thing. She says she's willing to tetanus fight. Well, guess what? Shannon got the papers and uh, Darla Burkett's name's in the papers. She went on Messenger. They're not friends. Why everyone's on Shannon's uh, Messenger, her, her, uh, her pages for Concern for Evergreen Shores, is because all the harassing things that she did to everyone out there, so they like to follow it. She is followed by every 300 people had to vote her off the board because she's threatened to shoot at dogs and people. I mean, this woman, it's, so, it's stacked so high. <laughs> what about you're asking for an order against Mr. Park? Okay, that's a, I want protection from her because she continued lying. And, and these are all these lies, lies. Her dragging me into courts for no reason. She said that you used a word that begins with C. With uh, her, I, did you call her that? When she drove by, she drove by. And I had my dog. We got over to this. My girlfriend, my, my not wife's girlfriend is what she calls him. We got to the side of the road. Her windows rode up. I looked at Darla. I said, F yes, I did say that. Her not, window was up. Not she, to her. Not to her. No. And my neighbor's the witness and saw the whole thing. Shannon's looking straight forward, not even looking at me. Her window rolled up. And I got it on video. There's either so much stuff I didn't want to submit again, because you Mr. already got too much. Again, Mr. Pardee, is he a part of this? Mr. Pardee, he likes to, um, he and what him and I definitely have some verbal. He he's jealous of me and Shannon because me and Shannon were really close friends for a long time. And I think he thought me and Shannon had Wait a minute. you and Ms. Pardee were friends. Yeah. For, for like seven years. Right. I, I mean, I got all the screenshots when she was suing Evergreen Shores. She, they kicked her off the Facebook page. Mm -hmm. So I took screenshots and I'd send them to her because she couldn't get them from anyone else. And I still have all that stuff. I mean, everything I helped her for years, unfortunately, try to sue Evergreen Shores and the people on the board. Okay. And I, I could show the phone where I sent them to her. So let me hear from Mr. Pardee. Um, Mr. Pardee, could you raise your right hand, please? You swear and affirm the information and testimony you provide will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I do, Your Honor. Um, I'll hear from you. What's your position on all of this? Well, I haven't heard much about why I'm named as a respondent. Uh, the, the stuff against my wife seems to be fairly old. That's fine. And, and, I, and some of this I'm to blame for because I did file a lawsuit against the HOA back in 2018. I don't know what that has to do with today. Not much. I mean, I, I end up when I went to the court of appeals, I lost that case. Uh, lawyers do lose cases once in a while. So I lost that case. So it had nothing to do with Mr. Eaton. Uh, it had to do with the HOA. Uh, I have filed, I just to, to let the make the court aware under 7105, 105 sub 4 RCW, I have filed, uh, Mr. Eaton's correct. I have filed a cause of action against him, Eaton Trucking LLC, his trucking company, his mother, Marilyn Eden, who owns his property, and I've also filed it against Thurston County uh, Superior Court, uh, Thurston County Superior Court cause number 23-2-03894-34. So I just wanted to make the court aware of that if they were not. My guess is the court is aware of that. Um, that is a pending litigation that was just filed in November, and we haven't even gotten full answers from every defendant yet. Um, so that was, discovery will be ongoing. So that will that'll go on for a while, but that if the court thinks that that's a frivolous action, as Mr. Eden's suggesting, he can defend that, and then the court can rule on that ultimately. I think that really has nothing to do. I don't think that's abusive litigation 
uh, in his petition, I'm responding directly to his petition against me. He mentions he's afraid because we filed, and I think he checked the box for abusive litigation in 2651020. That regards domestic uh, violence or people that are intimate partners. Me and Mr. Eden are not intimate partners, as far as I know. Um, maybe me and my, maybe him and my wife, he alleges, were intimate partners. At one time, I'm not sure what he's alleging today, but I am not an intimate partner with him. That, that's what that, I, what that, I the, bo the box, the box he checked, Your Honor has nothing to do with abusive litigation. Obviously, if anybody could run in and get anti-harassment orders when a civil action is filed in Superior Court and District Court, that'd be an interesting uh, kind of separation of the two court systems. Uh, you can use one court system to prevent litigation and another. I don't think that's what, what, was, what was intended by the legislature. Um, I, will, I will mention, um, he talked about, I, I did uh, download that video for my wife when we submitted it to court. The video you're talking about where you recently walked around the property, he actually flipped her up, flipped her off twice, the, the video camera twice, when he was going over past Arlo Briquettes and when he circled around back up to his second uh, driveway, which we're litigating, uh, he flipped her off again. So you're correct, Your Honor, he flipped her off twice. Um, he does admit that he, he yelled doing that because he saw my wife coming with her car and my oldest son was in the car and I think I explained that in my declaration and her declaration um the met there's also a mental health matter sign we submitted photos of that with which has floodlights on our property it's not it's not a security issue it's on top of a hill 20 feet above the right of way it shines our prop my wife's property all the time it drives her nuts it's there when my kid catches a bus stop it says mental health matters on it and it has and it has spotlights pointed towards our house um that's that's in addition to him continually harassing uh, my family by yelling that they're you know, basically disparaging kind of obscene names. He does that pretty frequently. We've had arguments in the past. That's because he's driven my family crazy. Um, he, 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 he routinely calls my kids uh, disparaging names out. All we're asking for today, Your Honor, you don't have to put an order in of him against me. I'm not asking for an order. I'm asking for an order for my kids and my wife because I, all I want to stop is the language. We can, we can sort it out in Superior Court. Wherever that goes, it goes. That's what litigation is all about. People have a right to file land use actions. Now, that, that, that litigation is fairly complex. It, it's not as simple as Mr. Eden describes it. He's not a lawyer, so I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. But it has nuisance claims. It has uh, intentional infliction of emotional distress. It has zoning actions. I think his operation of a, of a, of a trucking business in the neighborhood is, is a violation of the, of the Thurston County Zoning Code, RL21. We'll get into that when we get to Superior Court. There's other actions too for against the county for for negligence and failing to stop him from filling his property back in 2007. That has caused water issues. That's 15 feet into the right of way, Your Honor. I can prove that. I have evidence of it. Um, this is all stuff that will come out in Superior Court. But what we need during the pendency of that action, and I also attached. Let, let me let me mention, Your Honor, before I get off here, I did attach the letter because it was mentioned specifically in Mr. Eden's petition. The letter I sent to his mother back in, I think, in December or November December of 2022. This is over a year and a half ago is what he's talking about. I, I gave you a copy of the letter because I wanted you to see it. It's a typical demand letter that we all learn about law school, Your Honor. Um, it's, it's a, it's a seven-page demand letter. I go through the law. I, I kind of cite the cases. I'm basically giving the owner a, a chance to reach out and talk to me. They never did. And now, ever since I filed that and filed stuff with the county in, in preparation for a claim with the county, which I did in prerequisite to my cause of action in Superior Court, uh, this has been... This is when it all blew up. This is when he became enraged by the fact that I filed a cause of action. Um, he's, he's trying to bait me by saying, oh, he, I'm jealous of him and my wife's relationship. I have, I don't care if my wife has friends. I've never been a jealous type in that regard. Um, but I mean, I they were friends at one time, so be it. They're not anymore, obviously. I think the judge hit that on the head. I don't think they're gonna be friends anytime, anytime soon. Um, but, I, but I'm not a possessive husband. And he said, he talks about how I live in my car. So be it, Your Honor. I mean, what does that have to do with me harassing him? Nothing. Uh, he wants to humiliate me. So be it. I, I don't. I don't know what that accomplishes, but uh, it's wasting the court's time. He's filed basically uh, hundreds of pages of old stuff from previous actions. And the, the the one classic example is I think dishonesty with the court and his credibility. I think is diminished. He says that I chased him down the street, but he doesn't give a date. I gave you the date, Your Honor. It was January fifth of, of twenty twenty three. Over a year ago, I chased him down the street. You know what I was doing? I wasn't a party to the action. I was actually representing my wife at the time. All I did was serve, trying to serve documents on him. He was uh, less than 50 feet away from me. I said, Mr. Eden, here, here's some documents. You know what he did? He ran down the street yelling, he has a gun. He knows I don't own a gun. He did that to try to get me shot. He's a dangerous man. 
He's very aggravated by this lawsuit. I think he's I think he's indicated that he's very aggravated by a civil lawsuit. He's lost control and he wants to keep on harassing my family. His goal, I've overheard him up there talking to other people, is to get my family to move. His goal in harassing them daily is to get them to move. That's why he runs his and idles his truck at all hours of the day for endless amounts of time. He's not going anywhere with his truck. He's idling it because he wants to drive her crazy. It's noise, it's pollution, it's regulated in industrial districts. It's a, it shouldn't even be in a residential district, but we'll get into that in Superior Court. That's not for you today, Honor. But I want, I, want, I want to point out that this is a serious matter. Um, the HOA lawsuit that I lost has nothing to do with it. I've lost lawsuits in the past and I've won lawsuits in the past. It doesn't make me a good or a bad lawyer. It might be, you, can, you might say I'm a bad lawyer. Maybe Mr. Eden thinks that, that's fine. But lawyers file lawsuits all the time. There's litigation in the courts. People, one side loses, one side wins. I'll let you go, Your Honor. Thank you for the time today. Um, do I get to respond to that at all? Yeah, you can you can hear that. And then I'll come back to you, Ms. Barty. I have a, I have a question. I was came up on the um, top. Both Mr. and Ms. Barty brought this up. What's the story on these lights and this mental health matters sign? I've had a sign on my fence for a long time. Yeah, how long? Oh, geez, probably over a year. Okay. Um, I so had to build a this, fence. Since Sorry. this came, oh, since all this came up this... before this, before this, I had to build. I had to build that fence because of the harassment I was getting from the parties out of pocket. Okay, so wait a minute. So then the the sign came after the harassment started. Is that what you're saying? No, me? the harassment. I, I, you just said it's on the fence now, right? It's on the fence. Okay, now. and so you said you built the fence because of the harassment. So obviously it wasn't on the fence. The harassment started before the fence was built. Was that sign up there before that? It was a different. She was filming me. It, we didn't get to the courts yet. She okay. was filming me in the dump truck trying to leave. So that's okay. when I put the to protect myself because there was phone but, calls. Okay, but she, I, again, I want to know when the sign went up. For the okay, the time. sign went up after she started filming me. Okay, and Thank you. then the and why? Police, why would you do that? Because she was threatening to sugar my um. Um, gas tank and kill me okay she was like she would get out there and yell there's um, so much stuff i haven't presented your honor go ahead I'll, I'll hear from you you could you wanted to respond i'll let you respond no i just protection order from bill because he, just like bill you know said himself he says he was trying to serve me papers i had no idea that bill was trying to serve me papers the prior day before bill chased me down the street they went to the police department and said that i tried to run them over and kill them in my dump truck so then Bill, the next day, Bill comes around the corner of his car at a high rate of speed. He jumps out. And I'm looking right. He's eye locked on me and he starts running at me. Well, I see he's got something in his pocket. So I'm concerned. I'm like, what the heck? You know, because just prior they said I tried to kill him. And I'm like, well, you know, does he have a knife? What, what, why does he have his hand in his pocket? So I took off running for the neighbor's house. I took off running to my house. He cut me off where I couldn't get in my driveway. So I took off running to the neighbor's house. I was going too fast. I couldn't turn. So I just kept going. He chased me probably four or 500 yards until a neighbor said, Hey, Hey, started screaming at bill. And then I, I got stuck in the neighbor's fit in the backyard and I couldn't get over their fence. So I called 911 and was on 911 for the whole time while I was hiding in the woods. And you can hear all the neighbor's dogs barking and stuff. So I was afraid that bill was still out there. They actually picked me up two blocks down the road, the sheriff's department. So that's just one incident. Then he sits there and parks outside our backyard across the street. He and him and I get in arguments. He left big deal he came back around and started another argument with me he's saying that my mom slept with her brother and had me i mean it just him and my sperm doesn't swim is that why he didn't have kids he's cussing and swearing at me it's all on video i've never submitted any of these videos the only videos i submit are the police videos and then when the police come out you can see mr pardee is sitting there saying i don't know if he identifies a woman or a man i mean he's getting aggressive I mean, to me, this is aggressive. You don't live in this neighborhood. Why are you coming around? And, and you know, my girlfriend can't even walk outside with the dogs anymore. Yes, we do have a flashlight. I got a flashlight for Christmas. Big deal. It's a flashlight. She, she signed it the day that Shannon might be complaining about something. And my girlfriend's a witness. She was out there with the dogs. So Shannon drove by early in the morning. My girlfriend shined the flashlight down the road. Was my girlfriend trying to cause Miss Shannon to wreck or do any of this? No, obviously not. My girlfriend has nothing to do with Shannon, but she, they're going to make it sound like they're going to make it sound like all this stuff. Just like I said, in these dates and times of things they've posted on here, none of this happened. Let's just go back to Bill, though. You know, he just continues harassing, you know, bringing me in all these lawsuits, multiple lawsuits. I mean, why? Why now, Your Honor, when they were on the board, they could have addressed any of these issues when they were on the board for the Evergreen Home Association. But since Shannon tried to kill herself, 
Bill was actually at the house and her good friend Darcy was there. Darcy knew that Shannon and I were really good friends at that time. So I was talking to Darcy, explaining to Darcy what I've been witnessing. And she was having problems with ch the children and Bill. You know, so I, when Bill showed up there, it was the first time I got a chance to talk to Bill because he hasn't been there for years. And I said, hey, man, this is what's going on. You know, maybe you should know because Darcy said it wasn't good. Didn't think she was going to make it. Shannon took a bunch of pills or something. She ended up going to the psych ward for a while afterwards to get help. Like I said, I'm not here to ruin their family. The best interest of, you know, the kids and, you know, the neighbors have all witnessed. There's been multiple reports. And that's why we're here is because the phone calls to Child Protective Services, I was the only one that didn't know that when you make these phone calls, you're supposed to renown and name anonymous. And I didn't. So she believes that I'm the one that's been calling CPS. Hey, Shannon. Can you come up to the gate to make sure that you're mentally stable to watch kids? Uh, Affirm. Is she clear? I'm fine. Well, we just I already sure. have my therapist. You guys are not mentally qualified. I can get up in the morning and I can have an outburst because things aren't right in my house. Well, that's not what you're doing right now. Is not somebody who's, who's mentally stable. Well, you guys I are need not kids, mental health I need the kids I'm to come all the way to the. Thank you. I need the kids. Well, you're not. This is you're not. This is not normal behavior from a human being. So it is normal. I'm behavior gonna have for the kids come all the way to the gate. You can ask my therapist. Why well, don't I don't trust your yeah. therapist? If you think that's well, normal that's behavior. Well, that's pretty silly. And you guys are out here harassing me. Now. No, man, we're checking the kids. So, you, okay, you, you check the kids. They're right here. They need to come all the way to the gate. Make sure there's no bruises on them. You're all right there. Oh, sorry, dear. Mm -hmm. Go up there. Thank you. Stick your tongues out, then look down your throat. No, 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 we're just, you're not mentally stable, man. We're worried about you. You're good, guys. You can go back inside your I am work. mentally stable, but thanks for your concern. You are not. I am, and it's rude. You can't sit there and say that. I just did. Well, you know what? That's harassing Reese, me. Reese, we're out with us. a person. You don't get to sit there and call me names. Have you lost I didn't your call mind? you names. Your yes, you did. Your behavior. You said I'm not being mentally stable, Your behavior you is not somebody who's analysis. mentally stable. No. I Where is your mental health background check to actually give me that determination? been doing this for a while now. and no Where is your medical degree to sit and tell I don't me that need I'm a not mentally degree, stable? Silly. Where is your I don't, mental I don't What need was one. that you just said? I, I don't need a mental health degree. I don't need a mental health degree, silly? Yeah. I need to have someone come out here because I have these officers up here saying that I'm mentally not stable. None of them have a, a degree. Yeah. This other one's telling me I, I don't, don't need a degree, a degree silly. I have a degree. He has a degree. Five, not mental health, but I have a degree. He has a degree. I took a psychology class. None of them have a mental health degree. What's that? Well, he's a pretty tall guy. So, Cassidy's going to have to come out. <laughs> well, she's in luck because about an hour and a half. Go bear. Look at the ball. I got nothing. All right, ma'am, is there anything we can do for you? No, have a good day. Thanks. Thank you. you have a great day. Have a good day. Bye. <laughs> Poor kids have never even got to play in the streets or anything because when they, it just goes on and on, Your Honor. I just need protection because they will not, Shannon will not stop and she has proof in all of her lawsuits with everyone. She just does not give up. She doesn't stop. She won't. And here I am, I missed another day of work. You know how many days of work I've missed? This is, you know, saying I run my truck. Yes, I can run my truck if I want to, Your Honor. I can play music if I want to. I'm not harassing her. She want anything I do, she feels that I'm harassing her. You know, I got no problems with Bill. Bill don't like me, and that's fine. I never had problems with Shannon until a year ago. I mean, I don't know why they're coming right, after on, me, Your second. Honor. I'm gonna latch on to what you said. I said I got no problems from Bill, but you're asking for an order. Well, so when I he's mean, chasing me down the road, like okay, so I mean well, that's my you problem. Want an order against him or not. I didn't have problems with Bill until he started chasing me. Yes, I Yes, I would like to have, I'd like to be protected. Why should I live in fear? I live there. He doesn't. Well, he, he does. I, well, because he gets, <laughs> yes. you know, he's, if he's there, he's long enough there to drop off some milk and maybe pick up a kid and drop a kid off. He does not ever, the few nights that he spends How in his car on the street is it. Because he watches us all the time. Hey, ma'am. Okay, hang on just a second. 
And, you know, the, the other judge said there was nothing wrong with my signs. What's wrong with my sign? It's Christmas lights. I had a Christmas tree up once, and she said I was intimidating and harassing her by having a little tiny six-foot Christmas tree with white lights on it. She, I have pictures and videos of her on her porch yodeling, doing some crazy things with so many bright lights that it's just a blur. And she has lights on her front yard now. She has red and blue lights just like I do in her front yard. How come they don't bother her, but my red and blue lights across the street bother her? And those, the, the spotlights they're saying, they're 60 watt light bulbs. A 60 watt, it's not a spotlight. They just over dramatize everything. That's why I need protection. All I'm doing is trying to go to work. You know, my mom is being drugged into these courts. My mom is 70 years old. She's like, what is going on, honey? I'm like, these people just won't stop. That's it. I mean, they just will not ever leave me alone until, and here's the deal. If you do an anti-harassment order protection, this is what they did in the last time. All she tried to do is get me in trouble. So I had to protect myself. So anytime that she came within the distance, I had to call Thurston County. Well, they even said, they even had the videos and everything that was submitted to you that she broke it. They, they, they um, um, forwarded this stuff to the prosecuting attorney. But the thing is how this court system works. If you don't have it in with like in five days prior, they don't get it. So guess what? We missed that window. We continue missing the windows. You know, this is not my full-time job. This is Shannon's job. Shannon doesn't work. Shannon has, I don't know what Shannon does. She's got she people coming to go drop dogs off. Okay, so ma'am, you she, just need to. She collects free money. I mean, there's just, I've known, like I said, I knew Shannon for a long time. So I know what Shannon's capable. That's why I'm afraid of Shannon because she will not stop this process. And she's going to continue. Like I said, this has been over a year. What have I really done? What, what one picture maybe me flipping her off with the phone or who knows? I mean, not her. It'd be her camera. I've never personally flipped Shannon off. She knows that. I don't even see her kids. Like I said, her kids are not allowed to play in Evergreen Shores because of all the lawsuits they've had against people there. So everyone's afraid. They don't want their kids. They don't want Shan's kids around, you know. And then when the Shan's kids were able, when they first moved there, they were showing bruises. The, the parents were concerned for the children. This is start this talk. It okay. just goes on and on. So yeah, I need protection from both so of them. So here, here's what Ms. Ms. Pardee, do you want to say anything? Uh your honor there were never any bruises and mr eden's continuous inflammatory statements about my children being abused that's more harassment it it is not true and my children are tired of it i am tired of it i don't just need the harassment order and protection your honor my children do mr eden is the one that runs out to the road mr eden is the one that is out there at the road Yes, let's bring Mrs. Burkett in as she's standing there, closing her eyes, turning her head as he's repeatedly calling me a fuck with my 15 year old in the car. When I am what? Trying to leave the neighborhood on the public right of way that was put there for me to leave. And with Mr. Eden's illegal fill, I can't go to the right or the left now because he's got an illegal driveway to the left. So he, and with the fence and then the everything else he put up there, imagine your honor, you're talking over 500 dump truck loads of dirt. So he took the beach away, rose up. And so ma'am, I'm, I'm not, I'm not interested in any of the dirt or any it, of the, trying to that doesn't matter. Dynamic is. Instead of it being an egress to a house, he's now with a hill and a fence right over the road. I can't even go to my mailbox. If I go to my mailbox, it's over by him. And then he yells at me. I have video last night as I'm just trying to exit with Jonathan from my dash cam of him behind the fence, giving me the finger. That's a daily occurrence if he's there. He's not trying to ignore us. Let's see these daily videos. We need finger. to see daily videos. Every day, she's got to of water yes. down her yard. Okay, so just Your Honor, I have to take uh, the video daily because okay. it keeps track of the noise levels. 40 minutes, 60 minutes of a dump truck or a diesel truck idling in this neighborhood for no reason at okay. all. They don't go to work. So, They're just there idling. So, ma'am, I'm going to stop you, okay? And um, I'm ready to rule. And um, here's what's going to happen today. You know, first of all, I guess I have... I don't know whether I should say this or not. Every time I say that and then say it, people told me I shouldn't have said it, but I'm going to say it right now. Um, you know, seated that individual seated to your left should not be here for all this. They just shouldn't. Uh, I don't know how old that person is, whether he looks to be 13, 14, maybe 12, 13, but this is not an appropriate uh, thing for him to be involved in. It's just not. So there's that. 
Second thing that Mr. Um, uh, Pardee made a comment about lawsuits, you know, I've won some, I've lost some and all that sort of stuff. And what's gonna happen today is everyone's gonna win, everyone's gonna lose. So I'm granting both orders, both Mr. Eden's orders against the Pardees, and I'll grant your order against Mr. Par Mr. Um, Eden. And the parameters of the order, there's not gonna be a distance restriction. So you don't need to worry about coming, you can't go onto their property, but you can't do that anyway, because that's, uh, um, that, that would be trespassing, of course. The basis for the order on behalf of Mrs. Pardee is that you did, by your own testimony, apparently flipped off. You did use the word that she apparently heard. She wouldn't have, he said her window was old, she up, but word. she found it out somehow. So, I mean, <clears throat> obviously that was heard. I would find that that's uh, harassing behavior. The pattern be sh shown by uh, um, Ms. Pardee and uh, um, Mr. Pardee, and again, I, did looked at the whole file and uh, I didn't look at the other orders, but everything that's been um, uh, been submitted, you know, and I, you know, I, obviously I'm not out there. I don't live out there. I don't know what's going on, but if this, if a quarter of this, if an eighth of this is accurate, and I believe we've reached that threshold, uh, um, this is just no way to live from either party, either, either the parties or Mr. Eden. And um, so from for the next year, the, the parameters of the order is going to be, and again, I'll find that both have engaged in patterns of conduct uh, uh, that have harassed the other, others. And basically the order is issues not to uh, cause you any physical harm, not to contact, including the minors, don't engage with the minors, and don't engage in stalking behavior. There is not a stay away provision given the proximity that you uh, live to each other. There's not like, don't come within, you know, don't be out there with a tape measure. Don't come within 500 feet. Don't come in with a hundred feet or anything like that. You guys just can't talk to each other. Can't communicate, can't communicate with each other and just don't be involved in each other's lives, which is what I think you both want. So what does that Your mean? Honor. Your Honor, that can mean I ask I'm a question? I'm not done yet, Mr. Pardee. I'm not done yet. And that doesn't mean that this, I'm not trying to regulate how Mr. Um, Eden runs his uh, uh, garbage trucks or anything like that. Uh, um, there's just, I don't have any control over that. And I don't, you know, what he has to do for that. That's not necessarily, you might think it's harassing, but it's, uh, um, it's not. The basis for these orders or the uh, interaction and communication or lack thereof that is communicated, that has been uh, gone back and forth between the parties is lights. I'm not regulating any placements of any lights or anything like that either. I mean, some, and, and again, I just can't, you know, what might seem harassing to you isn't necessarily, or wouldn't, I can't objectively find as harassing behavior, but the harassing behavior, again, is the verbal interaction between all parties that has been shown through the filings as well as the testimony here in court today. Mr. Party, I'm done that. now. And so now, I guess, when Mr. Eden earlier had said that you got on whatever social media website you reference and trash uh, the previous judicial officer maybe you both can get on there and trash me here today but oh yeah you, neither oh, one yeah. of you should neither one of you should uh, um, have any communication with the other so i'm granting mm -hmm. your order mm -hmm. Mr. Party, mm -hmm. that she's that he's not he's not to um, have contact with you but it's going both ways mr mm -hmm. party you wanted to say something yeah it's sort of important your honor i mean you're putting an order in against me i don't think there's any evidence of any harassment by not me but that's fine for me. I, also I'm the attorney. I have to talk to the other side. I have to serve documents okay. on them. Well, we will, have an agreement okay, to do I, email okay, service. Are you going to make an exception Just for that, Your Honor? I'm going to stop you, Mr. Pardee, and say, yes, I will include uh, um, language in there. It says, except in the course of litigation. and What's that cause number in Superior Court? I'll give it to you now, Your Honor. 23-2-03894-1. Uh, and I have an agreement zero, with zero, Mr. Three, Eden to serve by just, email. Just, just wait a minute. Let me make sure I get that number. Except 03894-34? Yeah, 232-03894-34. All right. Your Honor, what contact put... am I supposed to, or what harassing? I don't understand. I haven't talked to him. I don't talk to him. I get in my car and I try to leave. How is it that I'm harassing him? Ma'am? I've said before, uh, um, yeah. Based on the uh, based on the filings, um, combined with your testimony, I'll make a finding that um, uh, you have engaged in harassing behavior, and um, an order is going to be entered. 
Yeah, and, well, uh, if you could explain to me what that harassing behavior is, I'd like to know so that I can prevent doing it in the future. And you haven't told me or proven to me that I've done anything. So it's very confusing. So I'm asking you to point out what that harassing behavior is so that I can get with my caregiver and we can make sure that doesn't happen in the future. The, in the future, what I want to see going forward in the future is just no communication or interaction with Mr. Eden at all. I do not talk to Mr. Eden or interact with him at all. Do I okay. record my front yard? Yeah, based on the you bet okay, I yeah. do, and I'm going to keep doing it. I don't talk to him. I try to leave my driveway. He's the one that comes and yells at me. So I'm asking again for you to clarify how I get how I stop harassing him when I don't talk to him. I don't flip him off. I don't go near him. I simply leave my driveway, enter and exit. So how is it you would like me to not harass him when I'm already not doing anything? What more would you like me to not do? Would you like me to stop breathing? Because I'm really confused. You know, Judge Wilcox okay, made it where he couldn't stop. represent her. Stop. Uh, Judge, Judge Judge Meyer, I, I I'm very confused though. On one thing, I what did what did I do to harass Mr. Eden? He's talking about yes, an incident that happened did. in January. That's not, that's unfair, Your Honor. You're putting an order Completely. against me. I don't even live there. Allegedly, you're putting an order against me. I've never harassed Mr. Eden. I mean, you're I tried to serve him. Back in to There's no proof in the file. Me. There's no proof in the file that I harassed him at all. Not I'm an attorney in the state of Washington. You're putting an order against another attorney for what? What did I do? And I've you're wanting Mr. Eden to keep the kids' his dad <laughs> away so from helping us. <laughs> it's already, you already, he already said, Jeff, Jeff already admitted Bill hasn't done anything to him. Oh, we're almost buds, but I want this order. And so when I go to court are. now, Your Honor, I have to be fearful that I'll be set up. When That's I go to court exactly now, when I walk into doing. the courthouse, I have to, I, I will be set up by Mr. Eden. Thank you. Because now I can't go to court without feeling safe because I have a no contact order. That you're putting oh, in wait place. This I've never, I've done nothing. Thurston County, and we're suing them. Isn't this? That's that's. I've never even been, I've never even been named as a respondent, Your Honor, until until I filed that action in Thurston County Superior Court in November. That's why. That's why I'm named as a respondent now. I was never named as a respondent in the past. Mr. Eden says he has no problem with me, but now you're putting now a restraining order. Does. That doesn't make any sense, Your Honor. But I guess so be it. Okay. Isn't there so some I've kind included, of community appeal? In 23-0004-35, in I've included the parties, make, the parties, you folks, may communicate with Jeffrey Eden in the course of litigation in Thurston County Superior Court number 23-2-00435-2023. Uh, um, I'll also indicate, Mr. Party, the parties uh, may appear in court together, but there's not a- Runner, that's not the right cause number. Right. Oh, I'm sorry. You're right. It's three eight zero three eight nine four. My mistake. Kevin, why not? I can see it again, Your Honor. Twenty three dash two dash zero three eight nine four dash three four. Yes, that is correct. And does that include? Does that include when I'm at the courthouse, Your Honor, about to go into the courthouse? No, there's no distance restriction. You can go to and from the courthouse at all. Well, I'm but saying, am I violating the no contact order by being there and seeing Miss Streeton outside the courthouse? No, no, you're not. If okay. it's in the course of litigation, you're absolutely not. Now, how about when we're trying to come and go from our home and he's got an illegal second driveway and we can't get out? We no. can't get to our home without going past him. And he's always running out there yeah, saying- And, that, and, and you can do me. that. You you can, again, there's not a distance restriction. There's nothing that restricts you to going to and from your home. Yes, but you are giving him an order and he is the one that gets in the road and blocks the car. Just because this guy says, to you, I didn't do that. If you believe him, oh my God. But that is not if the you, truth. If he, if, he blocks the, if he blocks the road, that's that's something you can report to the police or obstruct or something like that. Also, Your Honor, the mental health matter sign will remain in place. Why? Uh, yeah, I mean, it, that's, up to Mr., that's up to Mr. Eden. And so you heard that he put the fence up in the a mental health up matter sign. They're going to continue taking me to court constantly. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I can't, really? I can't stop them from doing that. Guys. Well, Mr. Eden, you took me to court. I didn't take you to court. Okay, so hey, hey, just, what are you just, talking just, about? <laughs> so stupid. Like I said, they started this, not me. Okay, so just stop. It's going to end now.
you're free to leave the parties are free to leave the zoom call you're free to leave uh email co copies of the orders will be emailed to all parties thank you your honor and that's it for today and if you perceive that you know, again before i go i'm going to say this if either party perceives these orders to be violated in any way you can report that to the police that can be referred to the prosecutor's office and they can figure out where to go from there and you're free to go there miss party thank you Uh, Ms. Ford.